Take a deep breath. Visualize the mountain of your success and look down at everyone who's ever doubted you. Fuck those losers. Fuck them in their stupid fucking faces. Booksmart is a directorial debut of actress Olivia Wilde about two high school smart girls who decide to indulge on one night of hard partying before graduation. It's highly rated on the tomato site for mostly understandable reasons, and my critical ass is here to say that I don't think it deserves this score. Now I don't walk into highly rated movies with the expectation that I'm gonna dislike it. It's all a matter of personal opinion, and I personally think the movie was not great. Although that's not to say there's nothing worth celebrating about it. I'd say it's cool that this is a very female-centered project. I already mentioned that women directed it, but it's also written by women, produced by women, obviously starring women, that'll deal. And not only that, but it also features LGBT people as central characters, with one of the protagonists being gay herself. There are also messages about not being judgmental to others and how everyone's a human being. There's more than what meets the eye with them. It's clear that this movie has its heart in the right place, and the filmmakers had only the best of intentions. I just wish the direction they took could have been better. From what I gathered before going in, this seemed like it was gonna be something like a modern John Hughes movie, or a female-led Superbad as the ads have been touting it, and I'm like, alright, I like those things, I'll check this out with those in mind. And after seeing it, it reminded me less of those aforementioned titles, and more of those really terrible YouTuber movies set in high school such as Not Cool or F the Prom. I mean, it's certainly better than either of those two, but it's certainly not a very favorable comparison. Who are you? Fucking Spider-Man? Give me your dick! Did you guys see Maddie's eyebrows from last weekend? Oh. On fleek. I'll get more into that in a little bit, but there are definitely things to like here. The two lead actresses were pretty good. They had really great chemistry with each other and you easily buy them as best friends. I could see these two leading good careers. Although I've already seen one of them in Lady Bird and the What We Do in a Shadow show, so I already know she could do good. The filmmaking is competent, though not spectacular. The pacing is actually pretty brisk, and the ending was decently satisfying in the story context. For what it is, it's pretty fine. The thing that's dragging it down for me is a bit of a mix between the actual direction of it and the writing. It's kinda awkward to go from congratulating this female crew to criticizing their work, but it did affect my overall opinion on the film. While the two leads were good, I felt that almost every other performance kinda sucks a little. Not in a they did a really bad or awkward job acting kinda way but in that everyone is overacting so much and trying to chew the scenery or overplaying the role that they were given that it kind of took me out of it. This was the exact problem that plagued these two, although terrible writing and competent filmmaking played a major part as well. Why were you into poop stuff when we were together? Who wants to play dance central? I do. I want to kill myself. Yay! Welcoming all you sexy young things back from spring break. Oh, yeah, I know that play, okay? I live that play. That should do it, right? We will persist! I can't hear you. I can't soundproof glass. Big me, little or me. Little baby jar at the bottom. Baby jar says, happy graduation, everybody. Everyone is such an over-the-top cartoon character that I had a hard time buying the genuineness of it. The theater kids I can maybe almost buy because they kind of remind me of some people I knew at my school. But why does the principal act that way? Or the pizza delivery man? Or the parents? Or the other students? Or the two leads for that matter? They're not above being unsubtle. Every time I come to visit you, you're gonna be scissoring a different girl. Dude, scissoring is not a thing. Don't knock it until you try it. Don't knock it until you try it. Ow! I'm totally gonna sit on my face later. Like... I mean, sure, I said they were good earlier, but that's because they're the leads. They kind of have to carry a lot of this on their shoulders. There's this one character, played by Billy Lord, who is such a cartoon, like she shows up at random places and acts so goofy, I have no idea what they're doing with her. She honestly kind of annoyed me. I don't know whether to blame the script or Olivia Wilde's direction for how this all turned out, but what was even worse than all the over-the-top acting was the soundtrack. There's like a million montages of characters walking in slow motion while pop music plays. And it's the same kind of songs too, it was just really tiresome. It's like that scene from Captain Marvel where she's fighting the villains and the movie just suddenly plays Gwen Stefani. Again, I don't hate women, I just hate it when they star in bad films. The jokes in this were kinda weak. A lot of it was stuff I've seen before, like a childhood toy being used for sexual purposes or haha, awkward parents. Humor is even more subjective than general opinion. I mean, hell, I laugh at this shit. Oh, 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 oh,
God! Oh, oh, fuck you! Fuck you! The one joke I remembered actually finding pretty funny was his dance number scene, because it was so out of left field that it kind of worked on me. They also do the plot thing that I see in too many of these things, where the two leads have a somewhat forced disagreement and go on their separate ways for a bit. I guess it's a little more understandable here than in, like, Detective Pikachu, but it's still kind of whatever. Whatever. Also, I don't understand why she didn't just tell her what she saw in that pool during the argument instead of ditching the topic. If you've seen the movie, you'll know what I'm talking about. So despite all this, at the end of the day, I wouldn't necessarily call Booksmart book dumb. <laughs> But it ain't 97% worthy. I feel sorta of bad for trashing the film to this degree, as I'm sure there are a lot of teenagers, especially girls, who would love this, who would respond to this. I'm not gonna rain on people's parades, or tell them that their taste in movies are shit, but if you were to ask me to name any better female-led stuff than this, I can list a few examples. 8th grade was a better coming-of-age graduation movie. Sure, it's about middle schoolers and not high schoolers, but it feels far more genuine. Like everyone in that film could be an actual person. Thoroughbreds was a much more interesting female friendship movie, although this one has a wildly different tone to everything I've brought up thus far. There's this animated show on Netflix called Tuca and Birdie about these two bird women who go around doing stuff. It's really zany and crazy, but it's also very funny and cute. Go check it out. I applaud Olivia Wilde and all the cast and crew for setting out to make a good movie, and although I found fault in it, other people won't, so for their sake, I guess you might as well check it out. 5 out of 10.